Hello MaxTubers, welcome back to my channel. Today, we are going to watch another video of Asia's Phoenix, Miss Morissette Ammon, performing the song she used to be mine. This is from the musical Waitress. But before we get into the video, I am once again inviting everyone to check out one of my favorite shops in Shopee. It's called GreatCity.ph. You can use my exclusive code GREATMAX to get your discounts. For all of your household needs, please check out greatcity.ph at Shopee. Likewise, please don't forget to follow me on my Instagram account at max underscore two. And remember to hit subscribe, click on the notification bell, watch and comment on my videos here in Max2. Doesn't it feel amazing to be in love? Wow! <laughs> Staray! Ako talaga! Anyways, going back to the, you know, serious Morissette. Not a lot of you guys know that I actually have a little theater background. Back in, I think, 2012, I had my very first musical theater experience being cast for Repertory Philippines production. I remember asking you guys in one of my other videos uh, about her theater experience and some of you told me that she did have some background in theater. So this just confirmed it straight from her. Of Disney's Camp Rock the Musical and I was asked to take the part of Michi Torres which oh. was portrayed by Demi Lovato, Demi Lovato in the original movie. Oh, wait, what's that? Ano? Ano? Ah, uh, sample, sample. Oh, sige, wait. <coughs> Char. Parang mo ako nagkasakit dun. Coughing may not be the best thing to do at a time like this, but we all know that she is just joking around. She's just kidding. This is real. This is me. I'm exactly where I'm supposed to be now. Gonna let the light shine on me. Now I'm there's no way to hold it in. Don't you find it annoying that she can do that casually and still sound amazing? And to think, this is not even a song that I came for. So this is basically just a bonus for all of us. No more hiding who I want to be. This is me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I remember having so much fun, but I really did grow as a performer from that experience, and it was just really priceless. Well, like I said in my first reaction video of Morissette, she has grown by leaps and bounds over the years. And it's actually so hard to imagine that someone as good as her is still improving. Because the first time I worked with her, which was like a thousand years ago, she was already great. She blew us all away. But she's even better now. Just imagine just having to remember everything from the, the blocking. And then we also have um, choreography, uh, our lines, our lines, and then all of those power vocal songs and not to mention Shepre because we're independent people. Should I we we even like sometimes most of the people in the theater do um, their hair and makeup and just do everything themselves backstage. So I in my part I also had to think about Yep. It takes a ton of discipline and focus to pull off a stage play with so many things that you have to remember, like what she said, blocking, lyrics, the script, the timing. Um, I have done uh, stage plays in the past from 1992 to around 2004, I believe so. Yeah, and I honestly cannot remember how I was able to do all that. But 
to those who have done stage plays, you know it's really fun. And the adrenaline rush is just beyond amazing. So I hope she gets another chance to do stage plays. Just all the quick changes I had to do for the show and it was crazy. Yeah, I definitely learned so much from that experience and gained so much respect for the theater community. And I am looking forward to hopefully doing it all again someday. Again, she's right. To those who have done theater in the past or who are still doing it, you'll know how hard it really is. It's definitely not a walk in the park. Yes, it's fun, but a lot of hard work. There are times when rehearsals will end past midnight, which is really, really bad for the voice. But that's just how it is. So it's really a lot of sacrifice, a lot of sacrifices. By the way, I really love uh, her accent. She sounds very posh, very classy. Anyways, I would love to sing for you guys a song that's from a newer musical. Well, not very new, but this was actually based on a movie back in the 2000s and was adapted and brought to the theater uh, with music written by Sarah Bareilles. This is She Used to Be Mine from the musical The Waitress. Okay, the song is about to start. As you all know, I will be pausing this video every time something comes to my mind because I do not like talking over the actual clip. And I assume that this is not your first time to listen to this performance. If you are here, I assume that you want to listen to my honest observations and comments. So if you wish to enjoy the full performance without any interruption without my comments please head to my description box and click on the original video link another option is you can watch the original video first before coming back to this one for my reaction okay it's not simple to say that most days I don't recognize me That these shoes and this apron That place and its patrons Have taken more than I gave them I actually haven't seen the musical, but I have heard the original version of Sarah Bareilles. So, uh, for us to understand better the feelings behind this song, it is about a woman breaking down as she realizes that she is losing control over her life. So, a lot of of pain in the song as we have just heard from Morissette's first few lines. It's not easy to know I'm not anything that I used to be although it's true I was never attention sweet center I still remember that girl she is terrific, not just in the way she sings, but also in the way she projects herself. Uh, she also did this in her cover of Defying Gravity. You've got to watch it if you haven't seen it. We can feel the pain in her voice and we can see the pain in her eyes. She's imperfect, but she tries. She is good. She is hard on herself She is broken and won't ask for help <sighs> For some reason, during this part, I feel like she is speaking more than just singing. It doesn't sound like a performance because it's just so heartfelt. It's giving me goosebumps, actually. So let's just keep going. She is messy, but 
she's kind. She is lonely most of the time. She is all of this mixed up and bites in a beautiful pie. Okay, I just had to pause to read what's on screen, okay? Oh, anyways, it's got nothing to do with this particular song. Now, going back to the song that she's singing, you've got to listen to the lyrics, which is so relatable to a lot of us. She's imperfect, but she tries. She is good, but she lies. She is hard on herself. She is broken and won't ask for help. She is messy, but she's kind. She is lonely most of the time. Forget the pronoun she, but don't we all feel this way at some points in our lives? And I'm really glad that she's singing these words so sincerely. She is gone, but she used to be Again, she did this thing that I heard in her Defying Gravity cover. She is the only singer that I've heard so far, so far, who's using this expression to convey pain. Do you guys know how we make this sound when we accidentally hurt ourselves? That's what she's doing. She slips in through a back door and carves out a person and makes you believe it's all true. And now I got you. You're not what I asked for. To my Max Tubers out there, I urge you guys to use your earphones or headphones, whatever you have when you're listening to her, to catch these nuances. And you'll appreciate even more uh, her expressions because a lot of these are very, very subtle that I don't think you'll even hear without the help of earphones or headphones. If I'm honest, I know I would give it up And now I feel like she is mad at how she has lost control over a lot of things in her life. If you noticed, her volume is now louder. Add to that the growl. Again, she is not uh, just trying to impress us with these techniques, but it's her way of getting uh, the frustration, the feeling of frustration across. Let's continue. Who gets hurt, but who learns how to toughen up when she's bruised and gets used by a man who can't allow. <sighs> that is just too beautiful. And I'm not even talking about her tone, her vocal power. At this point, I am just listening to the story she's telling us. This is absolutely my favorite part of the song. It gets me every time. And she delivered it perfectly with just the right amount of anger, 
frustration, and most importantly, realization. Here's how the lyrics uh, go. Who'll get hurt, but who learns how to toughen up when she's bruised and gets used by a man who can't love. And then she'll get stuck and be scared of the life that's inside her, growing stronger each day till it finally reminds her to fight just a little, to bring back the fire in her eyes. When the character Jenna sang this song in the play, I believe she was pregnant and she's telling herself that she's got to fight back and gain back some control in her life, at least for the sake of the baby inside of her. Let's face it, as we speak, there are a lot of women out there being abused, whether verbally, emotionally, psychologically, who's in the same situation as Jenna in the play. If you are in this situation, I urge you guys to fight back. By fighting back, I mean reporting this to the authorities and do not allow yourselves to be abused because you deserve better. Do it for yourself. Do it for your child. And remember, do not lose the respect that you have for yourself. That's been good, but she used to be mad. I know I need to be complimenting her for sustaining all those notes wonderfully. But it's really more than that. More than her technical abilities, I want to commend her effective interpretation, her expression, which for me is far more important. Let's go back to the clip. You know what? As much as I love Sarah's version, I still do, I think Morissette's version is actually more emotionally charged, the way I hear it. She sounded angrier, which in a way makes a lot of sense. Like she's sick and tired of the situation she's in. And now she sounds like she's exhausted, like she's physically and emotionally deranged after uh, crying her heart out like that, after that outburst, which is something I didn't hear or didn't feel from Sarah's version. If Sarah gave us dynamics, Morissette gave us pure and raw emotions. She is gone, but she used to be mine. Even that last verse was perfect. Am I glad I got to listen to this? Because it was such a beautiful performance. Actually, I hate to use the term performance because it felt more than that. I think a better way to say it is her delivery. Or no, I think the best way to describe it is um, it was such a sincere interpretation there. Because she didn't only make us enjoy the song, but she also made us 
feel the song. And it's almost like a wake up call for everyone who is in the same situation as the character in the play. That it's time to gain your self-respect back, to get back on your feet, and to gain some control over your life. Personally, I find this video very meaningful. It's more than just entertainment. If you feel the same way, please give it a thumbs up. Likewise, please share your thoughts down below at the comment section because I'd love to hear from you. Just remember to keep your comments respectful. It is okay to agree or to disagree with one another, but let us remember to respect each other's points of view. Let us continue to spread love, not hate. With that, thank you all for tuning in, and please don't forget to hit subscribe, click on the notification bell, watch and comment on my videos here in Max Cube. Stay safe, happy and healthy everyone. Till next time, bye!